your sketchbook app, okay, you should have your first page should look something like this, okay? What you're going to do first is you're going to upload your photo, but before we do that, I wanna point a few things out, okay? Over here, let's do purple. This is a toolbar right here, okay? This is your layering toolbar, layer. Oh, so fancy, okay? This is another toolbar up here. Okay, this is for your very basic needs. The main one that we're gonna be using this for is your photo right here and moving your image around right there. Okay, so know that that's what you're gonna be using those two main ones for. Um, this one right here is your, I call it like your major toolbox, okay? So you can scroll down, you have paint, you have charcoal, you have, these are your erasers a blending tool. This is one of my favorites. It's a, called a technical pin. Okay, so there's a wide variety of different ones that you can use. Okay, so whenever you, you hear me talk about different toolboxes and where things are located, know that there's three main spaces. Okay, for right now, we're going to go to the top toolbox. We're going to add a photo. We're going to have the first layer be a photo of yourself. Okay, I did not make it as large as I would like. So I'm gonna go through those arrows. This one right here, do you see the one that was blue just then? Okay, that's what I would pick to enlarge something, okay? I'm now going to add a new layer. I'm gonna add another photo, and I'm going to add my elephant photo, okay? I know that I needed to cover the majority of my face, so I'm gonna make it relatively large. I'm gonna hit done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these layers that I don't need. So I'm going to delete that empty one. I'm going to delete this empty one. And I'm going to unsee that elephant layer. So did you notice that I have, there's an eyeball there and I just clicked it where you can see it. Okay, you see where my blue box is on the right hand side? You have the eyeball, now it's not there. Okay, meaning that I can no longer see that layer. Once I've done that, I'm going to erase away all of this extra stuff that I don't want. Now, I just try to draw on it, and then this thing came up where it says current layer is hidden. Okay, what that tells me is that I did not pick the correct layer to draw on. So do you see how I have this blue box right here and how I moved it to my actual face? Now when I go to draw on it, I can actually draw on it, okay? So in the far left-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and pick the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase away, actually, I don't need to erase away my body, just the background. Okay, I'm going to erase away the background. Okay, so I just grabbed my eraser tool. I'm erasing away the background. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those frizzies, even though it's not like you're going to be able to see them anyway. Okay, this one I don't have to be as careful about just because it doesn't really matter. This one doesn't as long as you get the basic look, okay? So I'm done with that layer. Once you have that layer done, you're then gonna go ahead and hit the C button, <coughs> the eyeball on the elephant, then I'm also going to unsee the photo of myself, okay? I'm going to do the same thing for the elephant, so I'm gonna make my, ooh, not that big. I'm gonna make my eraser a little bit bigger because I only need the elephant head. I don't need the body. So I, I can go ahead and erase absolutely everything. Also, if you have not done this yet, this is like just super satisfying to do in general. Like you're just kind of like, just erasing away. I know my voice doesn't sound quite like Bob Ross, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty calming. <laughs> okay. So notice that I left some space between what I what I have erased versus um, what's not erased. So I'm gonna go back. So do you see how I have that purple dot right there? Above that is my tool. This is what I use to be able to change the pressure, which you don't need to do any of those things on this side. Um, but I use it specifically to change the size. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it down to like 30, 29. And I'm going to actually use my stylus. <coughs> And I'm going to get all right through here, relatively slowly, slowly. That way I'm not erasing away things that I actually need. Just 
So I'm erasing this away. I can actually erase this part too because it's not part of the ear. All right, so I'm going to make sure that I can see it again. Now, this is an okay match, but I think I could probably make it better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit those four arrows in the top toolbox again, and I'm going to make my drawing a little bit bigger, except now you can see it a little bit better since it doesn't have all that background imagery. All right, so from here, I now have my third layer. So what you need to remember is that you have three layers all together. Layer one is a photograph of yourself. Layer two is the photograph of the uh, animal. <coughs> Layer three is your drawing, okay? So at this point, I really like using the technical pen. It's just one of my personal favorites. And then I'm going to hit this purple circle right here, and it's going to pull up my color. From there, do you see how on the left-hand side there's like a checkered eraser? And then on the right-hand side, there's like a little stopper. Okay, I'm going to click this button right here, and what this does is that it pulls up this little boat, like a bullseye thing, and what it does is that it picks up the color. So if I want to go to a really light color, okay, you see how it went to gray? However, if I go to my ears, it's going to turn it a dark brownish gray. Okay, I just want to create my ears really quick, so I'm going to fill in this color. Now, you're going to take your time on this if you do it this way, which I would suggest especially as eighth graders, I have a feeling that you could be very successful this way. And I'm just getting my very basic color. Okay, you're probably like, why does this look so weird? This does not look like how it's supposed to. I thought you were supposed to actually teach us art and not just create really bad things. Nothing's more embarrassing for an art teacher whenever their artwork does not turn out well. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just creating my ear really quickly. And when I say really quickly, I mean super quick. All right, so that's my basic color. I'm then gonna go ahead and come over to this tool on my left, which is a smudge pen, okay? I'm going to keep the size relatively smaller. I don't want it to be too large, but I also don't want it to be so small that it doesn't really make an impact. And what I'm then doing is I'm pulling my colors through a little bit, blending them out to make it look like there's more creases within the elephant ear itself. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind whenever you are using this tool is that it makes it transparent. So what that means is that anywhere that you put this color in itself, it makes the piece underneath, if you don't have a lot of color underneath, it makes it really, really transparent, okay? And so you want to make sure that you actually have a good, healthy amount of color. I need this toolbox now a good amount of color underneath. Why is it letting me do, oh, there we go. Uh, a good amount of color underneath, so that way it does not do that. So whenever I go to unsee my photograph, you should not be able to see my hair right there. Uh, let me find. Hi, I just joined in. That's okay. Sorry. Um. So from this point, you should not, do you see any hair through there? Uh-uh, okay? Because it's not transparent. Now, let me show you an example of if it is transparent, what happens. Uh, so I'm gonna make the, the elephant visible again. I'm going to do this. And then if I use my tool, again, I'm just making this really, really quick, so don't judge too harshly. Okay, and then I go to do my blending tool. And I blend, 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 but I didn't add a bunch of layers of color. I go to do that, do you see how right through here, right through here, do you see how you can still see my hair? Okay, that's not good because that tells me that I didn't do a good job of blending. And on top of that, because I was working so fast, I have this awkward space in between here, okay? And we don't want that. Uh, the other thing, because I was, wasn't blending and adding enough color is I have these weird white spaces right through here, okay? So all of those are things that you need to be going back and looking back and forth to make sure you're doing a good job with. Now, when we go to, let's say that I'm finished with this project, um, I'm going to hit new sketch. Actually, no, I'm gonna hit gallery. I'm gonna save current sketch because it was just so beautiful. And I go to my finished one. Okay, this was my finished one. 
whenever you are finally done, you should have three separate layers. Okay, do you see those? I have the photo of myself, I have the photograph of the animal, and then I have my actual drawing. Now, please notice that my photograph of my animal is unseen, okay? So what you are going to be asked to do tomorrow is to take a screenshot of this page right here, of this entire thing, and then you're also going to be asked to hit this to-do list in the upper left-hand corner. I keep calling it a to-do list. It's this one right here that I just blacked out. Do you see that? Okay, where I just blacked it out, that one right there, you're going to hit share, and then you're just gonna save the image, okay? Once you save that image, it's then gonna be in your photos, boom, okay? And then you are considered done.